the ice bomb. This is pretty fantastic, guys. Basically, if you throw it on water, it creates ice. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. Today in this video, I bring you a science video from Professor Echo. You guys fully enjoyed my first video. If you missed it, go and check it out because we created balloons, sparklers, underwater torches, and even underwater TNT. Today in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make an ice bomb, bleach, a heated lamp, and also glow sticks. Now if this video can pass 1,000 likes, I will do one last science video for all of you. Thank you so much for enjoying these videos. The first thing I wanna teach you guys is how to enable this. There were so many people in the comment section of my last video saying, is this an add-on? Is it a mod? Where can I get it? This is officially in the latest beta, which is 1.2.20.1. Probably only available for Android, Windows 10, and Xbox at this point. But we gotta go to create new, Create new world, you've got to set it to creative because you need to enable cheats. This does not work in survival at all. When we scroll down, guys, either activate cheats if you haven't already, but you also have to activate this. Enables education edition chemistry features. This cannot be disabled after your world is created. Please note these features are best experienced on desktop devices with moderate to high memory. So that is what you've got to do. I've already got a world created here with the specific elements, the components, everything that you need to know. But in description, I will leave a couple of links like I did in the last video in case you guys want to create something. And we're going to start off with a little bit of a theory. A couple of you guys commented saying, hey Echo, if you put a saddle on a pig, then the balloon, can you ride it? Unfortunately, you can't. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't. So if I try to ride this, basically it breaks off the balloon and the pig comes back down to earth. Anyway, pig, thank you so much for your help. Goodbye, my friend. Uh, again, if you did miss how to make the balloons, go and check out the last video. It's pretty easy. So in today's video, guys, we are not going to be messing around with the element constructor, which is this. Basically, this is how you get your specific elements here. So for example, 333, three, three, I think, is lithium. Uh, oops, I think it is. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, so we do six. Six. And six, this creates carbon. We're not gonna be messing around with that today. Again, there is a link in the description in case you guys wanna mess around with them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the ice bomb, the bleach, the heated lamp, and the glow stick. The ice bomb, this is pretty fantastic, guys. Basically, if you throw it on water, it creates ice. And yes, that's salmon over there as well. So this is really awesome. It has the same animation as an ender pearl, which is pretty cool. Bleach pretty much turns anything from colored wool, carpets, banners, from yellow, black, etc., into white. The heated lamp basically melts down ice, and the glow stick is just a glow stick. So we're gonna start off with this one. So this being the uh, ice bomb, how this works is we need two carbon, we need three hydrogen, we need one sodium, and we need two oxygen. Now this one does not go inside of the lab table. This one goes into the compound creator. So do it in this order, two carbon on the left, three in the middle, which is hydrogen, one sodium, and two of these, which will create the sodium. You need four of these. I think it's four of these to be specific in order to create this. I'm gonna double check real quick. Yes, you need four of these. Um, so once you've got four of them, they then go in here. One, two, three, and four. You'll know you've done it correctly, guys, because these things start to move. If they don't move, you're more than likely gonna cause an explosion. So what I'm gonna do here, in fact, I'm not gonna cause an explosion. If I just hit combine now, as you guys can see, it pops out the ice bomb. So we should have two of these now. Yeah, we do. We have two ice bombs. And again, like I said, these just create ice. It's actually really cool. I love the fact that we have the science update in here. Look at that. Look at all the salmons getting scared. Oh, that's so cool, actually. But yeah, you can you can walk on these. They won't melt because I'm pretty sure it's well, it's just normal ice, actually. It's not packed ice or it's not even the blue ice at all. But it's it's kind of like, I don't know. I think it's a really cool addition. I would love to have seen something like this in normal Minecraft, but that's the first one, starting off simple. If you guys do check these out and you mess around with them, feel free to tweet me some pictures. I would definitely love to see what you guys are doing, but I'm gonna make sure I get rid of everything to stop the confusion in terms of how to create the next one. So the next one here is bleach. So we need to create three waters and we also need to create three sodium hypochlorite. Now to create the water, obviously hydrogen, two of those, oxygen, one of those, and to create this, we need one sodium, which uh, one chlorine and also one oxygen as well. These are also done within the compound creator. Not everything in today's video will be with the compound creator, but most of them are. So two of these inside of here, which will generate water. Grab yourself three of these. I'm just gonna move these out the way as well. And then of course, one, 
two, and three, and we need three of these as well. So for these guys, these are gonna go inside the lab table as well. So three and three, make sure this is happening. Make sure this is happening, because again, if it's not happening, it's not gonna work. If we combine these, Al pops the bleach. Yes, Al pops the bleach. And no, you can't drink this for the people who kept asking me in the last video, can you drink it? You cannot. So for this to work, we need to grab ourselves some wool, some banners, and also some carpets as well. All you gotta do is head to a crafting table, put the bleach in here with anything at all, and as you can see, it will turn anything in terms of color into the white variation. And as you guys can see, my bleach has now gone. It's the same for banners, and it's also the same for red carpet as well. Um, so do bear that in mind, guys. If that's what you wanna be messing around with the bleach, you do need to, um, Remember, one bleach will mess with one piece of wool. But that's the next one, let's move on. So the next one is the heat block. Sorry, it's not a heated lamp. It looks pretty cool, actually. It looks really, really awesome. It reminds me of like the nether reactor a long time ago on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, so to do this, we need to create ourselves salt. To create salt, we need chlorine, and we also need sodium as well. We also need to create ourselves some water, which we've already done before, and this is like the final combination. We will get into that in just a second. So again, to start off really easy, Chlorine plus one sodium, which will create the salt that you need. And you also need to use uh, the same same before, which is the ingredients of water. We just need one of them. Now this one is slightly different, okay? Because these are what we need here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of everything other than these. So we need water, iron, uh, charcoal, and salt. And I'm pretty sure this is also going into the lab table as well, as you guys can see. And this should work as well. Yeah, it is. So one water, one piece of iron, which is Fe, charcoal, and salt. Combine this, and out pops the lamp. I've not messed around with this one before. I keep calling it a lamp, but it's a heated block. I've not messed around with this just yet. But I believe this just does what glowstone does and torches, according to what it says on the official page. What is going on down there? Oh, they're the torches. <laughs> I got really confused then. They're the underwater torches. But this is apparently meant to to smelt uh, to melt this. I really don't see much thing happen. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's quite slow. But yeah, it does the same thing as glowstone. It does the same thing as torches. Takes a little bit of time, but I think it looks really awesome. I think the design on this block is so, so cool. It's definitely worth mess messing around. If you want to get rid of like a massive part of, let's just say like an ice biome. The ice bike biomes. Uh, even for fat guys, the new, the new ice berg biomes, you could use these to mess around with it. So that's the heated block. I think I've saved the best for last, and this is how to create glow sticks. They can come in various different colors. This all depends on what dye you're using. But this one, guys, needs a lot of ingredients. So we need to create two luminol, two hydrogen peroxide, and also we need to create ourselves polyethane, which is 10 of these. So we'll start with the luminol. In fact, we could probably do them all at the same time. Let's do this. We need two of those. We need two of those. We need 20 of them and 10 of them. So let me just quickly run through these. You need eight carbon, seven hydrogen, three nitrogen, and two oxygen. For the next one, we need hydrogen and oxygen. We need hydrogen and carbon. And this one does go inside of the compound. So we do this right now. We need two of these ones. So one and two luminol. Let's just move these out of the way in specific orders. You don't want to combine these. I've had the problem of these combining together. Hydrogen plus hydrogen, we need two of these. Uh, and then last but not least, we need 10 of these. You need a lot. So one, you have to do this one by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, that's it. So I'm just gonna put these in the correct order as well. So 20 of them, 20 of them, we've created this. So this is the, the recipe that you need specifically for the design. Um, this, this can come in various different colors. We'll do red for now. So we need to put, I think it's three on this side, three on that side. I'm pretty sure one of these goes on the bottom, one goes on the top, and that goes in the middle. So let me just quickly run through the recipe. I just to make sure I got it correct. So on the left-hand side, you need three polyethane. On the right hand side you need three polyethane in the middle you need in the middle top you need hydrogen peroxide it can only be one by the way you don't need to make too many i've made too many today um hydrogen peroxide on the on the top in the middle bottom you need luminol this will obviously make it bright and in the middle you need your desired color so i'm not going to do red i'm going to change this to let's go to yellow we'll go with yellow dandelion yellow and as you guys can see we've now crafted ourselves a yellow glow stick now if you eat this forward slash time set night forward slash weather clear you guys can see 
We have ourselves a glow stick. You know what's even better about this? Oh, you can't. Oh, I was hoping that we could have had two of these. That sucks. But we got a red one, and we've also got a yellow one as well. This one's really cool. <laughs> I like this one a lot. The yellow one looks so awesome. I mean, it doesn't really bright up the way a torch would, but it's still it's still pretty bright. It's still pretty cool. So hopefully you guys have learned something new today. Go go mess around. It's kind of like a lightsaber. That's the best way for me to explain this. It really does look like a lightsaber. Um, and we've also, of course, got ourselves balloons, which we've had before. I've showed you guys how to make them. There's still a couple more things that I would love to make. First, let's just show. Let me show you guys. I gotta I gotta do this. I gotta do this, Mr. Cow. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> He's going to space. Who knows? Maybe in the future there will be a space update. But yeah, guys, that's what I've showed you how to craft today. I've showed you how to make a glow, sto glow stick, uh, a heated block, bleach, and also this one, which is an ice bomb. If you guys did learn something new, then be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see some more science classes from me, then again, leave a comment down below. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.